In this video, we're going to take a look at solving quadratic equations uh, by factoring. And this is one of several methods, again, that we can use to solve quadratic equations. And it works pretty well uh, when the equations factor. I don't think there's an easier way, honestly, if the equations factor. So that's a key. We're going to use something called the zero product property in order to solve these. And what that simply says is if we're multiplying two or more things and we end up with zero, one of those things has to be zero. That's the only way we can get zero when we multiply is if there's a zero involved in that multiplication. So for example, if we had um, something being equal to zero, well, zero times four, for example, is going to be zero. So in this case, what we're going to do, and this one is already factored, we're going to set each piece that we get, so each thing that's being multiplied, we'll set that equal to zero and then solve. So for this one, I've got two pieces here. We've got x minus 9. I'm going to set that equal to 0. And I'm also going to set x plus 3 equal to 0. Okay, so to solve this, go ahead and we want to get that x by itself. So we do the opposite to get rid of the minus 9. And we end up with x equals 9. Then over here, want to get rid of that plus 3. So subtract 3. And we end up with x equals negative 3. So my solutions in this case are 9 and negative 3. Let's just check those quick and see what happens. If we put 9 back in here for x, over here we're going to get 9 minus 9, which is 0. Then over here, we have 9 plus 3, which would be 12. So 0 times 12 is 0. Okay, so that's one solution. Our second solution is negative 3. If I put that in, I have negative 3 minus 9 would be negative 12. Then negative 3 plus 3 would be 0. Negative 12 times 0 is also 0. So there's our solutions. All right, let's take a look at this next one. We've got a trinomial here. If you need to refresh your uh, factoring skills, don't hesitate to do that. There's uh, lots of good resources available to do that. I'll kind of assume that you are good on the factoring here. So for this one, we've got a trinomial. It's going to factor into two pieces. And we're looking for factors of 24 that have a difference of 5. Well, I know it's the first term is going to be x and x. Since this is a minus, my signs will be plus and minus. Then, factors of 24 with a difference of 5. Let's see, 8 and 3. And I want to end up with negative 5 here. So I'm going to put the larger factor with that negative sign. So it's going to be x minus 8 and x plus 3. Remember, you can always double check your factoring if you FOIL this back out. So x times x, x squared. x times negative 8 is negative 8x. x plus x times 3, excuse me, is plus 3x. Combine those two things, we get negative 5x. Perfect. Then 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. So it does foil back to what I started with. Now this, of course, is equal to 0. So then I'm just going to go ahead and set each piece equal to 0. So again, x plus 3 is equal to 0. And x minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, this one, subtract 3, subtract 3, x equals negative 3. And then this one over here, we've got plus 8, oops, plus 8, and we get x equals 8. So our solutions in this case, negative 3 and 8. And again, you can always double check those, pop them back into our original equation, and see that indeed we do get 0. Okay, for this next one up here, it's not sitting in a nice form that we can necessarily factor it right away. We want to get it equal to zero before we start to factor. So let's bring this stuff over here with the x squared. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. 
and I'm also I'm just gonna do it in one step here I'm gonna subtract 18 from both sides so that's gonna give me 3x squared minus 3x minus 18 well what's left over here just 0 so is equal to 0 then hmm remember when we're factoring we always want to look for that GCF is there something I can pull out of every term in this case it appears that there is we've got 3 I could take out of all those terms so if I do that I end up with x squared minus x minus 6 just dividing each of those pieces by 3 okay then this piece right here this trinomial we can factor that so we have 3 times it's going to break up into two things. I'm looking for factors of 6 with a difference of 1. That would be 3 and 2. And I want it to end up negative, so I'm going to put the 3 with the negative, or the with the subtraction here. So the 3 goes there, 2 goes there. This whole thing still equal to 0. Then set each piece equal to 0. So we have x plus 2 equals 0. And, oopsie, x minus 3 equals 0. This one to solve, subtract 2, subtract 2, we get x equals negative 2. And finally this one we add 3, add 3, we end up with x equals 3. Okay. Now, one other thing to be uh, to notice here, we sub we factored out that 3 and 3 can never be equal to 0, so we just set that aside. That's not going to give us a solution. However, be on the lookout if there's a variable that we pull out there out front, well then that variable could be equal to zero. So if you would factor out an x for example, make sure we get that solution in there as well. Set that x equal to zero to get that zero for that solution. Okay, let's look at one more here. We've got 49 equals 9x squared. Again, I want to get it set equal to 0. So my first step is going to be to subtract 49 from both sides. That's going to give me 9x squared minus 49. Okay, this is a binomial. First thing I want to do again is look for that GCF. Is there anything I can pull out of both of those? Well, I don't see anything. So what we'll need to do then is, hmm, is it a difference of squares? Well, 9's a perfect square, x squared's a perfect square, 49's a perfect square. Huh, perfect. So I'm going to factor that as a difference of squares. It's going to be 3x plus 7 times 3x minus 7. And that whole thing, oops, I lost my equals 0 here, is equal to 0. Then I'm going to set each piece equal to 0. So we have 3x plus 7 equals 0 and 3x minus 7 equals 0. So in this case, subtract 7, subtract 7, I get 3x equals negative 7. Then finally divide by 3, so I get x equals negative 7 over 3. Same situation over here except that I have the subtraction this time to get rid of, so I'm going to add. So I have 3x equals 7, and finally divide by 3, and we get x equals 7 over 3. So my solutions in this case are negative 7 over 3 and positive 7 over 3. Okay, solving quadratic equations by factoring, we use something called the zero product property, which says that if we multiply two or more things and our answer is zero, one of those things, at least one, has to be zero. So we factor, well, first we get our quadratic equal to zero, then we factor it, and then we'll set each of those pieces equal to zero and solve them. Remember, uh, factoring, don't forget those uh, rules for factoring trinomials and for factoring things like differences of squares. Also be on the lookout for those GCFs that we could pull out, like with this 3 for example. 
if you pull out a variable remember we'll set that equal to zero as well so you might have an extra solution of uh, zero there and always remember that you can double check take whatever you get put it back into your original equation and see that it works hope this video was helpful keep working hard on your math and I know you'll do fabulous